Yo, I just wanted to make a little video about the end game mage blood setup that I was using for the last little bit. Uh, this is like a super juicer version of Corrupting Fever. I've not really like done a super juicy build like this in quite some time. I think really the last time was something like Forbidden Rite in Expedition League. So yeah, I just wanted to make a nice little video. Uh, this is pretty much just Rue's version of the mage blood. A little bit toned down on the damage though. I think his POB has like 30 something million. I only have like 24 million, but yeah, this is what you can expect if you keep juicing Corrupting Fever Champion, uh, you know, like a month into the league. It's pretty cute though. Uh, so why would you want to play this? We'll just go over that quick versus other stuff. Uh, you know, like arrow builds are going to clear faster and that's actually what I'm doing right now. Lightning Arrow, Headhunter, Magic Finding, all on my stream, twitch.tv slash sharp over. <laughs> but you know, why would you play this over that? Uh, well it would just be for comfortability, right? Uh, you would just be doing it because like with the lightning arrow, head on or whatever the heck character, uh, you know, when you're doing magic finding or when you're kind of just doing a blasty build, if you don't have a bunch of buffs up and Omniphobia and Kosis are in your map and you've been clicking altars, not paying attention, uh, you can kind of just like sit there and die a few times as you like wait and try to kill them, right? Uh, whereas this build just like eats everything, man. Like, Dude, when I was doing 80% delirium, I was just like standing in front of these guys casting reap and like, like you're literally just eating them and you're eating everything and you're still clearing pretty quickly. Uh, and then obviously like this build is going to be heading into Ubers. Now at some point with like a tornado shot character, you know, you put like multiple mirrors into tornado shot. Sure, you could do Ubers then by just like killing them right away, right? But uh, you know, this budget is somewhere around 350 to 400 div with 200 of that being the mage blood and like 50 of that just being, where are they? The gratuitous violence jewels, the forbidden flesh and forbidden flame. But uh, anyway, let's go over the few things that kind of are a little different versus the end game CF. Cause I already have a article build guide, etc., on like the end game version of corrupting fever. And so like what changes here and when you put the mage blood on, you're going to kind of notice, uh, or when you look at the mage blood setup, you're going to notice, right? We get a lot of stuff from all of our flasks. Uh, now we're using a quartz, which sounds a little weird because you could get phasing elsewhere. But you're actually using it for the suppression, right? And so the big thing here with the mage blood setup is that you have capped spell suppression and you have fourth vow and you have, you know, some pretty decent max resistances, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, that's really nice. <laughs> that is really nice because now you're incredibly tanky. Uh, you're incredibly tanky against fizz damage because we have 66,000 armor. And we'll see in the gear how we get all of that armor is just like aura effect scaling. But half the damage is taken as chaos damage. Uh, half of elemental damage is taken as chaos. And then our armor applies the chaos damage from hits with fourth vow, which means we're just mitigating so, so much of elemental damage and especially in fights uh, like Uber Shaper or uh, even like Uber at Ziri and stuff like that. Uh, they have elemental penetration on a lot of their abilities and going fourth vow, but you know, mainly it's like divine flesh, but the fourth vow divine flesh combo counteracts a lot of that elemental pen, which is really, really good because that's why those boss moves hit so freaking hard is because they're penetrating your Ellie res, right? They don't just have like, I mean, obviously they have a big number, right? But it's the Ellie pen that really kind of Fs you over there. Uh, so this combo is just like, it's baller, all right? It's comfy. And then you have uh, one Ellie flask that you use. In this case, we use Ruby flask. Uh, but there's gameplay. I did the Uber bosses in the end. I was blasting Delirium. It's just like a, it's a fun, fast, comfortable build that you get to do whatever the heck you want on, right? Uh, it's not there to be the quickest, uh, but it's there to be a good compromise. Obviously, we have enough damage. We have like 24 million damage now, which seems absurd on a Corrupting Fever build. Uh, if you go to, if you have like, I'll put Rue's actual POP in the description as well. I think his, yeah, his gets up to 38 million uh, with a lot more optimization of all the everything, right? Uh, but, you know, I kind of just thought that was fine enough and I was kind of done. <laughs> <laughs> the crafting is a little bit painful, but that's okay. That's okay. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty fun. But you know, like 24 million corrupting fever damage. That's really nice. Uh, that's reap and vol reap, right? Your actual CF damage is like 5 million plus, which feels really good, right? Having 5 million corrupting fever damage feels really, really good. Uh, also with this, 
one one of the reasons uh wait did i not have venge cascade i feel like i did have venge cat oh i did that for the uber bosses i actually did end up anointing this but yeah we'll talk about that so the big thing here with mage blood is we can get some res here right you see we have additional ellie res and we have a ruby flask uh we're getting like evasion we're getting spell suppression we don't even use a granite just because we want the spell suppression uh but you're able to get all of the a lot of the res off of that slot so you can kind of just like juice all of your other pieces to have a lot of aura effect so you get like an aura effect implicit on your helmet uh, you can buy these are actually really cheap bases the, from delve you can buy fractured aura effect on your glove and then you're just crafting it as you would normally uh it's really really nice and then you can get a lot of life regen stuff like that and you're kind of just juicing every other slot uh one point where i did have to give up some damage just so that i could have a little more speed i got an onslaught on hit circle of guilt uh, but it's only the hair of purity buff effect it's not the buff effect plus the fizz damage it's just the buff effect so i'm losing like some amount of damage you know some number of millions there uh but this ring was like two div and the fizz plus buff effect was like 60 or 80 div and uh, i just did not have the currency to buy that ring at the time so hey man that is what it is but uh yeah for suppression it's a little bit painful not too bad really because you just get a craft here you're just rolling t1 right here uh you get another like t1 mod or at least t2 uh on gloves you can't actually get tier one because delve doesn't drop that item level uh at least with the fractured modifier here so yeah you kind of just have the deal there and then you get t1 on your boots uh and then you have your quartz flask boosted with uh, the enkindling orb effect and lastly you do an impossible escape over here which is actually really cute for the entrench cluster and then you get some life and since you have quartz flask all the time you're phasing all the time so it's just another 40 evasion rating 10 move speed uh but yeah you're kind of just like blasting them uh aside from that i mean it's like double cluster you have a storm shroud set up uh since crucible trees are pretty busted you get to do a storm shroud setup exclusively off of a crucible shield mod so 100 percent chance to avoid being shocked you see that right there uh that's another thing that i didn't like juice too hard which is why my damage was just lower uh i just can't be asked to do crucible trees and all of that it's so boring and the build was already powerful enough like i just i don't know man just sitting there combining trees or or like doing it before you even get to that stage at like doing the imprint thing i mean you can't really when you have fractured stuff like this you know you you would only do that with like bows where you use your fracturing orbs in the end uh but for my wand i just went wand slinger uh i got a little cast speed and then i got endurance chargers on kill and i was like all right that's fine I pretty much just got two mods uh this one i <laughs> i only got the avoid shock and i was i was just done i was like okay i'm moving on yeah literally just can't be asked uh but yeah i mean the wand is the wand i got super lucky with okay i want to brag a little bit here uh this thing is such a pain to craft spicy sushi is gonna have an article on max roll about how to craft this but uh yeah it's just a huge pain in the arse you have to for the fizz dot multi uh you just have to get really lucky <laughs> apparently it was like a one in 25 for me to hit t1 fizz dot multi but hey it is what it is okay keep keep your eyes peeped for articles uh, i can't explain how to craft every single item here but uh there will be articles for all this plus some of this it, it it's uh it's a little self-explanatory it's not like so 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 bad but yeah uh if you're a juicer okay i imagine if you're not a juicer then you probably don't have to care about this right but the amulet we already have an article about uh there was like a, a video if you just look up how to craft the cf wand there is a video on youtube i'll link that down in the description uh but yeah and then the shield is kind of just annoying it's just a lot of like things like imprinting right where it just brings the cost up a lot uh, and then stuff like slamming like with the wand you can't just do a reforge fizz for your fizz dot multi uh because it might fill up all of your suffixes right and then you wouldn't be able to craft attack speed uh so with that you're doing an augment fizz every single time which is just pure pain all right remember guys they got rid of reforge keep prefix reforge keep suffix so uh you kind of just get the f in the a tax now that you have to augment every single time so it just costs even more it's like what is it 5,000 or more life force and then you have to have the sacred blossom yeah whatever dude uh so some things 
with the build for gems, right? We're fitting a bunch of auras in. The cool thing and why we use the Ruby Flask uh, mainly is to enable Righteous Fire. You can just have RF up all the time. That's really cool, right? That's really neat. You just get a bunch of extra damage out of that uh, on versus off. Now, I don't turn Righteous Fire on too often. I would mainly just do it for bosses anytime I just wanted to pump damage, stuff like that. Uh, if you're playing this, you could put RF on left mouse button uh, because since you're champion, uh, Righteous Fire is a burn on you. And when you proc adrenaline, it will get rid of that burn, which is kind of annoying. But, you know, <laughs> it is what it is, dude. You kind of just have to cope. But, I mean, you put on left mouse button and all you have to do is press Blood Rage then. Uh, so, it, you know, it's not the end of the world. It's just you can't have Blood Rage on left mouse button. Uh, obviously, for this setup, you do Kinetic Blast. Uh, you do, like, Kinetic Blast uh, instead of Frenzy. Uh, and instead of Calling Strike, you would do, like, Faster Attacks. Uh, or you could do, well, it has to be like GMP, right? Uh, instead of like maybe you would do faster attacks if you feel you want that. And that's pretty much what I did. Uh, the frenzy setup is just for bosses and I was doing uber bosses. So that's why that's there. Uh, one other thing too is since we scale aura effect super hard, right? We're champion, we get inspirational. Uh, we got the helmet implicit. We have the, well, uh, on the gloves, it's effect of our auras on enemies. Uh, regardless, you know, it's like lots of aura stuff. You get this here, you come up here, you're getting this, even taking the small aura effect here, your anointing influence. Uh, when you do it, Uber boss, you can do, uh, you can drop like an aura and you could take a purity if you want to just be super, super tanky, right? So let's say that I dropped uh, an aura. I don't know. I gave up malevolence or uh, you can't really give up peril of purity. It's only 25%, right? Uh, but you would just drop, you pretty much just drop a level, which is kind of troll. You're taking a lot of damage away, like a lot of it. You're, you're taking probably way too much. Actually, I don't know if that's worth it, okay? I don't, I don't know. But if you wanted, you could put on a level 21 purity of fire for like Exarch or something. And now you have 88 max res, right? You're getting an extra 10, uh, an extra 10 max fire res, which is kind of wild. Like that is pretty wild to have 88 fire res and a mage blood boosted ruby flask and spell suppression and uh, fourth vow plus divine flesh like i was already eating all the exarch balls but now you absolutely, absolutely would be eating all the balls uh but yeah that's just like a cute little thing you could do i just couldn't be asked to do that and swap auras around and worry too much about that i kind of just like went in there bopped them around and uh it was pretty fun but yeah i mean it's a cool, fun juicer build. Just want to put a cute little video out there uh, about, you know, the build I've been playing for a little bit. Uh, I'll probably have a video out for Headhunter, Lightning Arrow, Magic Find. I don't know if I'll do other setups, but the one I'm doing right now is pretty fun. And I'll just kind of be blasting some cemeteries and doing some Magic Find content. So we'll see, you know, maybe I'll go, what is it? Not Promenade, but the other one. Try to farm up some patients. Maybe go to Tower and get some nurses. Hey, we'll see. But anyways... I'll catch you guys later. All right. Subscribe, like, bye.